Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Transformers Battlegrounds on K-Wing's Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, yeah. comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Transformers arrives. Special shout-outs to all our members, including our Ultimates. If you guys want to hop aboard the membership train, all you got to do is click right here, select the tier that works best for you. So, today we are continuing the Transformers story, which is going to be right here. Select your squad, the battle for Central City. More Decepticons, and the city caught in the crossfire. This is our war, and we brought it to Earth. So basically, it's kind of like a guerrilla warfare thing where you just have like a small group of trans or Autobots dealing with Decepticons. Mm. I, and I guess, and occasionally, as the story goes on, you'll meet like one or two new characters, and that'll be it. Like, I, I can't see some of my favorite characters being in this. Tell like, Prowl. I guess ahead? we'll see, honey. You never know, he could be in it. Shockwave, it's done. I wish to inform Lord Megatron of my success, personally. Ooh, I like Starscream's voice. Denied. You are to hold position in the capital. Shockwave sounds like Shockwave still. What? The city's conquered! I should be with the fleet! You have your orders, Starscream. Shockwave? Shockwave! When will they appreciate your genius? I know! That ridiculous, incompetent... Bumblebee! Uh, he just now realizes. And the jet from Caminus. I see you're still squandering your talents with this ground-pounding burnout. Um... How? Meanwhile, I... Hmm. Starscream! Command the entire Decepticon offensive! It's never too late to join us, Windblade, and end the senseless destruction. What do you say? Um... I think we've heard enough. Time to show you what this burnout can do. Wait, they only invited As Windblade? As you wish. Seekers, now! Sorry, but Grimlock and uh, Bumblebee are really good, good fighters. Cons, watch your bumper! Cons where? Oh, they're already here. So we got these fools here, and I can't even see what that. Oh, these are jets now, so that means they can move much further. Mm -hmm. Except for this guy. Well, I mean, if I was doing this, I would throw on one person at a time, but that's fine. Okay, so the one that's closest to us by this monument, or would you move further out? I would just start going towards the person there. Okay. Like use that monument as cover and just start shooting. Looks solid. That's me. But... Sounds like a plan. I like that plan. I'm glad to be a part of it. All right, we're going to zoom out so we can see. I mean, it's fun to zoom in and stuff, but I feel yeah, like it's easier to see. see. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to let the cats out because I, I had to put them in the basement. So I had to like, move, move, wipe off the groceries. Thank you for wiping off the groceries, by the way. Um, I don't... I think... Wait. Oh, there's another one over here. Um, no, I'm going to end up being, you know what, we're going to move her here, shoot, and then we're going to have her move over towards mm. the other one. I think I should be able to do that. I mean, yeah. She also has like a landing Solid. move she can land right next to you and create it. Like create some damage? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to hit this fool. <laughs> but yeah, I mean like, the go-to weapon can be like She's down. down. So I kind of wish I didn't watch the second National Treasure. I finally watched it almost all the way through, but oh, I did not like the plot at all. It's just not Switching. as good. Yeah. This... Now it puts a bad taste in my mouth because it's like the first one was so good, the second one was just not good at all. I just don't know. It's like they, it's like they tried to recreate the first movie and they just did it. They weren't bad. successful with it. Yeah. It's like you can't really recreate it because. It's just like how Disney tried to recreate Star Wars by having all the same elements, but it was just terrible. It was like, they had a lot of the same elements, but... Uh, I wish I could do like a video explaining how they really messed up on the second one, but... I mean, they had different bad guy, which the bad guy wasn't as good, but I honestly think the script wasn't very good either. Mm. And also, the whole point of the National Treasure movies were about... Bill Gates' um, family and the Templars and how they created America. That was interesting. That was a very interesting topic. 
Where would to you move, Where would move you move it. him? Just leave him here in, in the turn? Where? Oh, that guy? Yeah, Bumblebee killed that dude. And um, I, I you can just start moving towards the other characters. You don't you don't have to play it like I do. I'll just be quiet and let you play it your way. Okay, I'm gonna leave Bumblebee there then. You you do it your way, because I can't really see much anymore. I didn't mean to give my advice. No, you're fine. You know what? You can do it however you want. I just oh. say like just like people always told me when I played XCOM, like don't leave your guys out all alone to be surrounded. So I usually move my guys together, but you can obviously do it however you want. Yeah, I just- I really like the first one a lot. I also didn't like all the arguing they added. I know they did it to make it relatable, like, they were having, like, Ben and his, quote, girlfriend in an argument, which I was a little disappointed they didn't get married at that point, after so many years. But also then they had his dad meet his mom, who was also, like, almost the exact same thing as Ben's girlfriend, um, Ab Abigail Chase. So basically, Ben's dad married a girl that was also like a um, like a person that loved history, but like their didn't their you know thing didn't work out either or whatever. Mm. It was like they were arguing, but then like them going on an adventure made them like each other again. But I just feel like uh, yeah. uh, yeah. it was kind of cute, but I just. I just feel like relationships should be based on more than just feelings, like... Oh, okay. You go, you go on an adventure with someone and suddenly you like them again? It doesn't make any sense. It should be based on more than that. So that's that's what you did. You, you did a, uh... Um, wait. Oh, that's gonna take all my moves if I go there. You know what? We're gonna have Grimlock move forward. Yeah, I mean, is... like, you can just inch forward towards the other character. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh. That's gonna be two moves. Except Grimlock right there. Grimlock, can you reach? No, you can't because that character's there. I mean, yeah, eventually you can get something called Brawler Overwatch, which I haven't checked. But, so I believe Grimlock is a brawler, so... Switch. But I don't think you have any Overwatch right now, but I think nope. if you can purchase Overwatch... I don't have it. anything just yet. I have uh, two Decepticons left, though. Got this person, and I'm sure there's gonna be more. But I am, like, moving these guys to, to get this person here. And I'm It's like, I I don't even get National Treasure 2 at all because it's like... Raha. At the beginning, I had kind of feel-good moment where they... Where their family was finally vindicated, saying... And then immediately, they let you down and were, like, implied that their family was a traitor to Abraham Lincoln and all this. Okay. And it's just like, I don't know, I just... I didn't... I feel like the whole movie... Gave off really bad vibes. It was just really down. So that um, makes sense. I was reading a lot about uh, Windblade and stuff like that. She was a, a high contender to consider becoming a Decepticon. Like it was kind of like the Jets were like the really popular versions of the Transformers in the Cyberverse oh. show. Um, they were like kind of like military class, but. Um, the snobby, uh, better off so they were versions the of no, not really jocks. They were like the high society, like oh. you know, better jobs and all this other stuff. And they would look down on the cars oh. or the the vehicle based versions of uh, Transformers. Bye bye. All right, that's but what Grimlock I is a dinosaur. He's the best class out of every. They don't really explain how Grimlock becomes a dinosaur. Like he ends up trapped on prehistoric Earth, and that's. Kind of, you know, how he got the bones, although in the OG uh, Gen 1 series, what they did is, you know, Wheeljack and some other people used dinosaur bones and they created the strongest Transformers ever, but at the same time, <laughs> the brains of the dinosaurs became the brains of the Transformers, hmm. and it just did not... Uh, Which is work why out Grimlock well. would always be like, me Grimlock. Me Grimlock, exactly, yeah, that's, that's like why he was kind of... Like They're that. trying to like make him like all sophisticated and stuff, but, like he's drinking tea or something. Mm -hmm. Now they're making him like a, a thespian or something like that. He's just he's it's got this very operatic way of think uh, of talking and uh, his mannerisms and stuff like that. So we've got that Decepticon way over there, and well, I'm not seeing anybody I don't else. No, I just feel like I mean I don't really know 
like if my anyone in my family was like you know part of whatever huh like i just i feel like the whole thing about the first national treasure why it's so interesting is you know everybody knows that they were like you know templar or a mason influence on the creation of the united states so it's such an interesting topic to think about that some people's family could be part of that and know secrets about treasure it's really interesting, but when they lose the whole main story of the <laughs> movie and just throw it away and just make it about nothing for the second movie, it's just stupid. Okay, and just Sorry. to give you guys context, Amber watched National Treasure 1 and 2 today. Yeah, so... I've never made it through National Treasure 2, ever. I usually fall asleep within 10 minutes. Yep. Because, I don't know, I guess I just don't like the plot, which now I know why. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have Bumblebee here take this guy out, and then Sorry. I guess we just wait for the next wave. Sometimes you have to put it next yeah. to him for some reason. There we go. She's down. Now, we'll see what happens. See how he's treating everybody, like, down and stuff like that? Because he was mm -hmm. like a high society person on Cybertron. That yeah. ended up, um, being selected to be... So he'd be like, Megatron Sephiroth. Team, star screen. He doesn't care about no. Central City. The no, I wouldn't. Sephiroth. No, that's not a good comparison. A nope. No, I don't know. With me. I'm trying to think of a high society person. Attention. Get ready. Just like upper class, like your your typical like um you know, uh somebody who sticks their nose up at people. Like Sephiroth is not that. Sephiroth was like an everyman that was loved and respected by everybody and went oh. crazy. Oh, I thought he was like. Oh, no. I got confused. Sorry. No, no, no. Okay. This will hold. Alright, is this is this a new turn or is this an old turn? Well, I'm sorry. Maybe I can cut that out. I don't know. Who I'm... No, that's fine. Okay, so that that guy's fine. Where else did they end up coming down? It reminds me of like so basically, Starscream is like one of those anime characters that's really mean to people. Yeah, I mean, you you could put it that he thought it was kind of. Because What's-Her-Name isn't from... Well, I mean, Cybertron is the planet, but there was, like, a whole aspect where the war took place. Like, a, a special... Maybe they colonized other planets, too? I wouldn't say colonized other... Well, I mean, the Transformers were all over the place, but... Cyberverse is, like, Cybertron is basically, like, Earth that has, like, different cities and stuff like that. And I can't remember the name of all the different cities of Cybertron, but... Okay. She is not from... Um, where the war starts on Cybertron. She is from, like, a- that's why she looks different than the Decepticons and the Autobots. Like, at least that's- oh, okay. That's what somebody told me. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not. Yeah, also, guys, we're- we're used to the Transformers from G1. I know, like, people are like, oh, well, blah 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 has been a female for, like, six years. It's like- Six or twenty. Right, yeah, but, I, I saw those comments. But it's like... Yeah, but... Originally they weren't though. <laughs> like I'm not I'm not watching every every single incarnation of you know, I care about the G1. I'm a G1 fan, so I don't really care if the person's been a female for six or twenty years. There's or there's been a lot of different I'm talking about how they stuff. originally made. So I can make my way this way. Who am I? I'm Grimlock. Grimlock can go this way. It is way. of no importance to me how many years somebody has been changed. To like somebody else, because I'm I care about how they were originally designed. I mean, he's still in the blast radius, but it'll take two hits. So then, what we're gonna do is we're shooting this fool once. Yeah. And to me, oh. To me, Transformers is G1 Transformers. Yep. Everything else is just I don't know Elseworld stories that were based loosely off the original, but I don't really. Think or you can consider it. I don't as... really think of anything as Transformers except for the original show from the eighties. Got it. Yeah, you could think of it that way, but it's there are different world. like versions of Transformers, which you could go a multiverse because Transformers did come back on television like after the eighties, um, be before like either before or after the Beast Wars, you had all these different versions of. Japan doing their own rendition of Transformers mm. because, you know, the toys are, um, you know, uh, based in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. that was Starscream. I didn't even see the Starscream boss, so this is gonna hurt. Starscream is okay. able to move further than anybody because he's a boss. 
So I'm pretty sure if we beat Starscream, then um, we probably beat the level. Right. So. I've done this level, but I don't remember. I think once you beat him, you beat the level. Okay. Like unless you see a sparkly, if you see a sparkly like hexagon with an arrow, then that will be like that means that there's an exit. But I don't see one right now. See how she called out Cybertron, but. There are different cities on Cybertron. Cybertron's a massive planet. And yeah. her, the very first episode, I did get to see the first episode of Cyberverse. She is coming there for the first time, and it's before the war. And it's in one of the Transformer shows. I can't tell you which one, because I'm not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. But um, she comes there, and then war ends up breaking out, and she has to pick a side. Like, who she's, you know, gonna mm -hmm. be with, like... And the Decepticons want her because she's a jet. Um, she belongs with them. Uh, she's not like a vehicle and all this other stuff. So, And Starscream is a famous scientist on Cybertron that uh, ends up joining uh, Megatron's cause and ends up turning against uh, the other people because they are... Um, to him, he sees kind of like, oh, these people are just... They're not really... Megatron is right because might makes right. And, you know, from a scientific point of view, this is this, and uh, that's how he reasons everything. And he's able to betray his friends. And Jetfire is a Transformer who, you remember from the G1 series, who was also a friend of Starscream. Um, but in this version of the show, he starts out as a Decepticon, like, the entire time. It's not like, oh, I ended up getting trapped on Earth and stuff like that. He he was um, always a part of the Cybertron forces and ended up eventually going to Earth uh, much later. And then I think it's not until one part of the show that he ends up becoming a uh, an Autobot once they're on Earth. But the, okay. the Decepticons have a lot more people in, in uh, their employ um, than they have in previous things. We're going to push... Starscream back, and hopefully he'll do some damage to that car. Yeah, the Autobots are like a small resistance group. Yep, and here on Earth they're like much smaller, whereas there was actually more Autobots than Decepticons in the original series. Um, and they were able to make Transformers appear thanks to the Matrix of Leadership. Oh, wow. Yep. Which they would use quite a bit, but they would need... Energon was the focus of everything yeah, I'll originally. Yeah, I'll have to check out the... I'll have to check it out. It sounds really cool. Yep. And she also appeared, like, in a uh, Robots in Disguise, like, CGI show. Yeah. Oh, uh, I know weird stuff is on my mind, but I was just wondering, no is there problem. another National Treasure movie? No. There's some weird one, like, National Treasure Secrets or something. Maybe that's some documentary or something? Nope, there was no other, uh... No other... And people have been talking about, like, National Treasure 3. I don't know if they're making no. them. Nicolas Cage wanted to make one. Oh. Uh -huh. So, um, just so you guys know, I'm focusing on Starscream. I know there's a, a Decepticon behind us. I would just, yeah, keep moving forward. But I'm just, I'm just inching forward and going spread, after Starscream. If you spread your focus out, you'll never get rid of Starscream. Mm-hmm. That's why Starscream is priority. In fact, right now, we should be able to do a lot of damage to Starscream because he was dumb enough to hang out over here. Um, the car's already been damaged, so... Boom. There we go. One more hit and Starscream is toast. Mm, awesome. Yep, so to get some additional points, what I'm going to do now is... Uh, I think... Is that person... No, that Decepticon is not out in the open. We can't get them. Well, there's a couple that are nearby. No, it's just that one. Okay. Let's see? Uh, you have this guy behind the building way over here. And, and then, then there's one by Starscream. I there think. is? I thought there was. Oh, no, that's no, Bumblebee. That's Bumblebee. Never mind. All right. Uh, you can have the honor of doing this. Uh, what's your name? Just blow him away. Oh, whoops. I think we went the wrong way. She kind of messed up. You botched that up, girl. Watched it. A little bit of cover. Use his sniper ability. So long, Starscream. See you later, Starscream. Run back to Megatron. <laughs> nope, mission's not over. So you have to take out all the Decepticons. Unless, is there an evacuation point? It says defend Central City, and then... Um, it says one Decepticon left. 
So I guess you do have to take that other guy down. Okay. Well, we'll. I didn't know that. We'll position our troops so they're uh, behind cover then, as best we can. On my way. Yeah, I just think of the Autobots as being able to defend this against the Decepticons because they just never give up. Like, yes, they're outnumbered, but they just always keep going. Yep. And Are you just waiting for him to come get you, or...? Yeah, he's up there. He's gonna have to come after us. Which is gonna put him out in the open. Oh, that's right. You know, that's because I had a character out in the open. Alright, Windblade. Go say hi. Moving. Hello. Regular blaster, and then we'll have uh, somebody have with, with a closer rage range. Let's go with closer rage. Closer rage. Rage. How many? Oh, that's no. We don't want that many. Darn. Could always go there. If I go there, I should be able to shoot. He's gonna have to be out in the open. There's nothing. Well. Can't be helped sometimes. Yeah. Go there. I'm gonna go here. Cover oh. behind you. Oh, I, I just noticed that little detail. So Bumblebee, mm. he scooted down so that the dinosaur could jump over him. Mm, that's funny. It is. There we go. I think this game is very cute, honestly. I will have my revenge. Autobots, Megatron, you will all know my wrath. Starscream just is always Starscream no matter what. Mm. Wrath? Who says that? Puny Decepticons gone! Mm -hmm. For now. But as long as the Allspark remains on this planet, Earth will never be safe. So we regroup, find Optimus, and make them leave. Oh, friends! The Allspark is on Earth? Yeah, they changed it. <laughs> okay, Grim. We're on it. Why is the Allspark? I'll head out to the desert with Teletran X. Track down our mm. sea and Wheeljack. Well, because Optimus has it. It's the oh. matrix of leadership, I thought. The battle yeah, for Central was. City might be over, but the war for the Allspark has just begun. Yeah, I thought he carried it, like, inside of him or something. Yeah, in the matrix of leadership. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So... 1,000 points. Unlock two characters? Oh, Cool. Okay, so Wheeljack's lab, we don't have enough points to buy anything only right have now. A thousand points. You need Everything 3, is 3,000, yeah. Okay. Mm. Alright, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's episode of The Transformers. Make sure you return tomorrow, same time, 3 o'clock, for the next exciting episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit up the playlist for more Transformers goodness. And shout outs again to Outright Games and Hasbro for providing a copy of this game. We'll see you guys later today at uh, 6 and 8 o'clock with an awesome live stream on something else. See ya!